Hi, here I want to show you the recent updates of my ongoing Lupa project. First of all, I completely redesigned the hardware, so now it's much more solid. It consists of uh, six PCBs stacked together. It has no case, it's only PCBs. It has built-in battery, it has 16 touch keys, uh, 64 LEDs, which can eventually act as a sequencer, uh, and XY pad and uh, USB host, expansion port for, for example, for Arduino, line input, uh, mic input. Uh, also, it's uh, 14 by 6 centimeters and 1 centimeter in depth, so pretty small. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Uh, by the way, it uses custom built Linux kernel, which allows it to boot in nearly 7 seconds, and after 7 seconds you can hear the sound. Um, the left top button uh, is screen changing button, so let's overview screens from left to right, uh, and the first screen is a scale selector screen. We can select uh, scale and root here, uh, now it's Phrygian, it can be chromatic, mixolydian, major, minor, whatever you want. Also on this, on this screen you can see uh, the actual node you are playing, or the actual chord you are playing. And uh, when scale is selected, simply pressing three sequential keys uh, does a chord. Or if you press four sequential keys, it will be a seventh chord. Uh, the next screen is sequencer screen. It's now empty. I will show it later with drums. Uh, the next screen is uh, supposed to be XY mapping screen. Now it's only display in position for debug purposes. The next screen is uh, instrument screen. The instrument is now sampler, so you can see the sample itself and voices coming through it. Uh, also, um, keys are velocity sensitive. And also, Lupa has IMU, which uh, can be mapped to, for example, pitch band. Uh, the next screen is uh, track effects. Now it's just a scope uh, which shows waveform coming from instrument. Uh, the next screen is master effects. Uh, here is reverb, master reverb. Uh, the next couple of screens uh, is a tape recorder, four track tape recorder. And um, the basic idea of Lupa is that you have a tape recorder and you have a bunch of instruments and uh, you just uh, overdub, uh, record and uh, resample them. Uh, so speaking about instruments, uh, if we press I button, all the covered keys are non-empty instruments and we can switch them and see different sounds. With different effects also, for example, some of them have effects on tracks. Uh, for example, this sample has a uh, tape delay on uh, in effect chain. Uh, some of them are melodic, some of them are uh, kind of drums. Also, there is an input, input option uh, from mic or from line input. Now it's from mic. Uh, basically that's it, uh, and uh, I will try to just build something um, from scratch.